Happy New Year, my rogue army. My name is Erin Rogoff, and I would like to welcome you all back to my booktube channel. With 2019 ending and 2020 beginning, I thought we should start off this year with a new booktube video for my channel. So, warning for spoilers before we begin with After by Anna Todd. This is book one of the After series. I have every book in the series, and it's about this girl named Tessa Young who goes to college and then meets British bad boy Hardin, and the two wind up falling in love. However, some people say the book series highlights abusive relationships in a negative way, so sometimes Hardin can be verbally abusive to Tessa, but I'm still enjoying the book. As for what do I think of the book, I seriously love it. I mean, yes, there are scenes that I don't like involving Tessa's mom just because she's so controlling, but that's just me. I mean, I don't necessarily consider myself having a problem with authority, but if somebody tries to control every aspect of my life, like Tessa's mom does to her, that's what I have a problem with. And I would go full witch on her, but replace the W with a B. Anyway, I will be finishing the book in 2020, so I am super excited to be saying that that's one of the books that I will start with. The next book that we have is The Road Society by Marie Lu. This is book two of the Young Elites series, and Adelina White Wolf Amuteru leaves the Dagger Society for another kingdom, and then she forms her own clan of Malfettos and Elites. Well, more Elites than Malfettos. I mean, I don't even know why I said that. But she calls it the Road Society, and with threats arising, will Adelina set out to find the Daggers for help, or will she have this her own win? And Adelina, her character development is very strong. I really liked it, even though it took me a little while to read book one because I was, like, into it, then I slowed down a bit, then I sped up a bit, then I slowed down, and so it was just, like, that sort of thing. But now with The Rose Society, I am loving it. I'm going to devour it for the rest of the day, and I'm just wondering... If Adelina goes from weak to strong and powerful to dangerous, what will happen if Violet dies in this book or the next, which I have? Uh, will that send Adelina over the edge? So that's really something for me to think about right now. Because I did not see coming that Adelina's sister Violet was actually an elite. I didn't see that coming. My reader powers weren't working then, but maybe it'll work this time. So I'm guessing Violet dies or gets tortured or something like that. The next book that we have is Princess of Glass by Jessica Day George. This is book two of the Princesses of West Fallen series, and it's a Cinderella retelling that has me hooked from the first page, and I am a little bit through the book, and I am loving it. Oh my gosh. It's... I don't know how to, like, explain it, but it's like Cinderella with a twist at the that's really hard to explain and for re and really hard for me to place to begin with, but it I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. I'm sorry. But I love that Galen and Rose got their happily ever after in book one, so I'm waiting for Poppy to have her af after ever happy in book two. And I'm also curious, what will happen to Eleonora, who goes by the name of Ellen now? Will she turn out evil in the end instead of just a spiteful lady turned housemaid because I get the anger that you could have towards someone but like oh my gosh it's just yeah I don't know it's just like it it is a Cinderella retelling that's all I gotta say and I'm blanking out on what else I have to say because I've only had two cups of coffee today so I'm not all there yet and then the final book that I will be ending 2019 with and beginning 2020 with is Rumble by Ellen Hopkins. This is a standalone novel as far as I know, and as you know, I am obsessed with Ellen Hopkins' books. I have read Crank, Glass, Fallout, Identical, and Tilt, and now I have Rumble, and I even have Tricks, and I am loving every moment of this. Oh, and I have People Kill People too, which I'm, like, a little indifferent to just because even though it is Ellen Hopkins' work, it's not written in technically the free verse that I liked from the Crank trilogy. And 
with Rumble, it focuses on religion and relationships, and I come from a mixed family household. I mean, my dad is Jewish, my mom is Catholic, my brother, he's an atheist, and I'm agnostic. So it gets pretty complicated around the season holidays and everything like that. But this book has me really intrigued just because I'm very open to new religions and trying to figure out what these people believe in. And with this character, Matt, he believes in no God, he's an atheist, and so I'm wondering, okay, is this book better than the Crank Trilogy or not? Because if you know me, you know that I love the Crank Trilogy. Some people are addicted to drugs. I am addicted to reading, as you can tell from all the books I have in my room. And anyway, since religion is a big thing in this book, I'm carefully treading with this one, just because I used to be Catholic and now I'm agnostic. And personally, I hate being a part of a belief where the shepherds protect the shepherds instead of the shepherds protecting the flock. So take that as you will. That's all I'm going to say about it. All re all opinions should be respected, all beliefs should be respected, so no PC comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support. Subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this. And have a great day everyone, and have a happy new year!